Alright, so getting back into some more Hero Coliseum, we have more of these seven free star battles. And I suppose right before we get into it, Yo Gamer, if you are watching this, shout outs to you, buddy. You were standing right next to me and you had absolutely no idea. And part of the reasoning for that is, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in my videos, but having the default Super Saiyan 3 hair on your characters in Compound City makes you invisible to everybody else, so they can't see you. Anyway, continuing from where we last left off. I think we only managed to get through like the first three free battles and that was it. And I did put together a new team just for the rest of them. I doubt we'll be able to get through all of them, but we'll see what happens, because we still got... Yeah, there are only four left. Hopefully they won't be too difficult. If I recall last time, we did Zarbon. Trunks and Bardock. And Bardock thankfully wasn't too hard at all. And we are going with the Universe 7 team just for the heck of it. And what's nice about this team that I put together is I have coverage all across the board. I have an all in unit even though it's probably one of the worst ones in the game now. But it also includes my favorite figure in the game so that's nice at least. I always love having Vegeta on the team, especially when it's this uh, specific figure here. Huge, huge fan of it. We've got uh, 17 here, obviously, providing support. And, you know, just to be safe, you know what, then again... Because 17 actually has a lot of freaking defense, but I don't have defense up second on him. So, I'm gonna see how this turn goes with Goku. If I need to, I'll put Vegeta out, but for right now, I think this is good. And I'm hoping that this team will be good enough to take on these free battles, because uh, these ones are going to be a lot more difficult. And I don't recall, but... Actually, yeah, okay, so... This Yoi Goku I have here, I have entirely duped him the HP for obvious reasons. I'm going to have him on the front line a lot, and I need him to be able to just survive the onslaught of attacks coming his way. I'm hoping that eventually I can mitigate a lot of the damage he'll take with the help of 17 and his defensive up second skill. And it doesn't look like he'll be around very long regardless. So I think that plan just pretty much went to hell. But thankfully he still hits like a truck, so we at least got a figure out of it. Thank you, I really, really appreciate this counterattack. That's huge for me, I think I discovered it two figures now. And I think Future Gohan here is actually using the second Super Saiyan 4 Goku we got. He's actually pretty decent, all things considered. He's not bad, just, in my opinion, not as good as the original one we got. Or might even be the new one, I'd have to look at it real quick. Yeah, let me look at which figure he is really quick. I want to say it's the second one. I really wish it had the figure number here, but oh well. Yeah, I'm like fairly certain this is the second one we got. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with um. I think we're actually good to take Pickle off right now. I'm definitely not going out speed here. I'm actually not too upset about this either because I got one the up freaking defense on the 17. He has like over 3k, I think. Although I think he might die here, come to think of it. Oh yeah, that sucks. That definitely sucks. Thankfully though, I got my ultimate up, and I'm sure it's all gonna use it. I should do like little to no damage. Hopefully this 
shit one shot. Okay, very good. That went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. And yeah, by the way, I already went through and cleared these just to get them off my list, at least for roots anyway. So that was the future go on, let's move on to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And probably one of my next upcoming videos are going to be like which figures in the game I think are worth uh, using. Rather than face it as far as figures, there's a lot of garbage in my opinion. You gotta be kidding me, dude. This is like the second free battle in a row now where I have put Goku over there and they double stack just to get rid of him. Like, is he really that much of a threat? I mean, come on. This isn't even the harder anyone. It's the one with more HP. Surprising man still survive that, honestly. I'll take what I can get, though. And like I said, this Golden Frieza is not a terrible one figure, but there are just better options now. There's really no point to using him at all. Good god, 17 hits like a freaking truck. This is actually the less harder hitting one, I think, too. Yeah, this is the one that doesn't hit as hard as the other one. The only thing is, the other one doesn't have as much defense. And Vegeta should, I would say, definitely survive this turn. Even though he doesn't have defense up second, I just realized that. Should be okay. Really hoping he'll be okay. Yeah, well, why don't we skip that? Okay, good, yeah, I thought you would just live that. Now, what's really good about 17 being here, too, is he's making Piccolo even that much more beefy. Like, there's no way Piccolo's dying anytime soon. Eh, that didn't do a whole lot. Even with the counter, but still, every little bit helps. And thanks to that counter, I think I should be taking out Gogeta here. Okay, yeah, 17 should definitely kill. And I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, I think 17 is easily the worst partner key that we currently have. The key got so shafted, and it just sucks. You know, just in case something happens to Goku, let's put Vegeta out here too. And we'll put 17 on the field. Okay, I doubt I'm gonna be able to go first here, but I'm gonna try to if I'm able. <laughs> yeah, okay, good luck with that. What is with all that speed? Holy crap. Oh wow, I did a lot for my master. Probably not too wise that I'm gonna pick a lot off, but at the very least, the freaking UI Goku managed to somehow live. That defense boost probably really helped him too. This is why I freaking love this figure so much. Like, after just a couple of turns, when you have him, like, maxed all the way up into, into attack, he's already doing, like, that much damage. It's obnoxious. And plus, he's gonna get quicker and quicker, and like I've said in the past, you can easily make up for his defense stat with things like Android 17 here.
and he has a really freaking good HP pool. Like around 7 HP and around 7k base attack is really freaking amazing for a figure. And uh, I doubt anybody can hear it, but in the background, <laughs> Miles is tired. He's on my um, dresser. <laughs> he fell asleep. He's snoring. It's freaking adorable. Poor good boy's tired. I find it so freaking hilarious that he snores just like I do. It's funny, like, I had no idea that I even snored. Like, other people would point it out to me, I'm like, what? It's so weird, like, growing up I never did that. Could be a number of things, though. It might even be due to the weight I put on. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not fat. I have, like, um... Yeah, I would say I have, like, a Ario body type. So I'm definitely not too fat, not too thin either. Which, funny, actually, I'm going as uh, Mario for Halloween this year. They're in a costume contest at work, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Got a Halloween party I'm going to also uh, on the 31st, so got a lot of fun plans this month, or this year rather. And Jesus, that bar rock hits freaking hard, dude. And, you know, if it's, if it's gonna detect my master, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the uh, pickle off for another turn. Let's say you kinda need to look out for 17 also. I should have taken the 210 there, but I'm not outspeeding. I just realized something though. I think Broly is gonna one shot my Goku, which is not good at all for me. Oh wow, he took out 17. Jesus. I might be in trouble with this free battle. How much is this gonna do? Good god! Alright, well, at the very least, I should definitely outspeed here. And I'm sure if Vegeta were here, this would make him utterly sick to look at right now. It's just him and Frieza left. And I completely forgot about, um... Yeah, I completely forgot about, um... Barak's passive. He lowers everybody's speed, whether or not they're on the field. But I should have outspeed, no problem, regardless. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I should have upset that even if I only got 190s, but eh. Just be happy that's not the case. But his damage is not terrible, but there are all one figures that put out much better damage. And even ones that have, I would say, a lot better speed. And finally, we have the Supreme Kai Prime, and she has a seriously strong put-together team. Uh, by the way, I would not advise doing this free battle to grind any other T-chips or the figure coupons. It takes far longer, and you're not even guaranteed to get at least two of each T-chip here. Like, the very first time I did this free battle, I got lucky. I got two of everything, except the figure coupon, obviously. Thumbnail. <laughs> Sorry to break your immersion like that. You've got to be kidding me, dude. The first battle we did for this video, same exact thing happened in that one. It was for Gogeta and Vegito. But in none of these three battles, like you, I go through on my team, I guess. That's gonna do a lot, yeah.
Like for those, just live it. Get rid of the Cheeto. It's one problem out of the way. Supreme Cut of Time actually is a really good team. The only thing seriously holding it back is the Supreme Cut of Time figure. It's not good at all. And it is effectively useless here because I'm not even using either of the gods or either of the angels. So it's like, what's the point? Very good start, though, to this free battle. Now it's hard to get rid of uh, two figures here. Two very good ones. I'll, I just realized that I got rid of MZ Goku. That's going to help tremendously also. And that's another, you know, very good figure that you can easily make up for Vegeta's defense. I would argue the better figure to go with for his defense. He's just going to stick around a lot longer, and he's overall, I would say, more useful than this one, either version of this figure. The stats are just really, you know, wonky. They're not that great. Or they distribute them, uh, anyway. And, of course, I highly doubt I'm gonna outspeed it all. And I do not expect my UI Goku to live. Although, thankfully, you know, I just realized one other thing. She was, uh, too dumb to put UI Goku on his own trigger square. But that's nice, at least. Did quite a bit to my master. I don't see why this shouldn't be a one shot. Thank you, Vegeta. First turn on the field, he's already doing nearly 7,500 damage. That's really freaking good. I cannot stress how good this figure is. Thank you. That counter attack pretty much just guaranteed the win for us. Thankfully, uh, Gogeta here is not built as an L1 unit. This is a very easy victory right now for us. You know, why don't we cover the boards just for the hell of it? Yeah, let's cover the whole board. I really don't care what happens to Frieza at this point. The battle's already over. Yeah, I have a second skills, but eh. I want to at least get some damage done to Gogeta before something happens to Frieza here. I doubt Frieza's gonna live. And if Gogeta tries to hold him in the middle, I can always just end him with. Piccolo and Vegeta, uh, not Vegeta, 17. They should be able to handle no problem. Although, you know what I just remembered? Um, she actually has some really freaking good character skills on. I think, like, as the match goes on, you do a lot less damage to not just the master, but the figures as well. I don't remember what she had exactly for character skills, but, yeah, we just lost quite a bit of damage. That's fine, then we're just gonna end it here. And I'm going to try to go second this time, too. Very good. Really nice that I have Piccolo in this guy. Now, if we're going for, like, a, um, Universe 7 theme deck, these are definitely the far figures I recommend running. Like, you need a decent enough other frontline unit besides just big wall. And plus that extra coverage in the upper right also helps. Someone to watch out for Vegeta. I 
Thankfully, all these fights went pretty well, all things considered. One other thing I do want to check before we call it is... Let's look at the um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, because I can swear that's one of the second version of it. Okay, yeah, I was right. It was the second Saiyan 4 Goku we got. But anyway, that's going to pretty much do it for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. It's probably going to be me just going over which figures I find are really good in the game. Um, not really sure where I'm going to go from there, but we'll just play it by ear, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later. Peace.